Well, you know, Sunday is just a couple of days away, and you can bet when Sunday rolls around, there are going to be dozens of dirt back bike riders back out here ready to put on a show. But with that clash between police and riders last Sunday still fresh in people's minds, a local mom is trying to do what she can to ease those tensions. You see them out here continuously every Sunday. They out here. They're going to be out here. So why not come to a solution? Toya Graham gained national recognition as a hero mom when she pulled her son out of April's riot. Now she tells me she's coming forward to help the city and dirt bike riders find some common ground. What do we have that is legal for these guys? What? They took away the recreation centers. They took away a lot of the best basketball goals and stuff like that. So what do they have? For Graham, this is personal. Her daughter, Taisha, was part of the crowd gathered on Reisterstown Road last Sunday when chaos erupted. Why are they trying to run out day? Like, yeah, they do it all the time. The police department says officers go to Reisterstown Road every weekend to shut down the gathering. Police say last weekend the event got way out of control, prompting a big response. The helicopter is flying around telling Baltimore Police Department, clear the area, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. They out here in ride gear. Riding dirt bikes on city streets is illegal. City Councilman Pete Welch told 11 News building a dirt bike park will solve the problem. I think if they give them a certain time to ride and a stipulation where they have to ride, that those guys will be in agreement with them. Welch plans to introduce his bill on Monday. So some people think that riding a dirt bike in a dirt bike park isn't as thrilling for these riders as, of course, riding through city streets. So they don't think that dirt bike riders are actually going to want to use that park. Graham says she's hoping to host a block party where dirt bike riders, the mayor, and police can all get together and try to find a really good solution to this problem. Reporting live along Reisterstown Road, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Well, police in our nation's capital are offering money to address their dirt bike concerns. The Metro Police Department says it'll now pay a reward for information on illegal vehicles that are driven in the district. $250 will be given if a tip leads to the recovery of illegal dirt bikes, all-terrain vehicles, and mini bikes.